Hi, my name is Allison Flynn, and as part of my chair in university teaching, I'm working with students, faculty, staff, and U Ottawa's Center for eLearning to develop and evaluate a self-regulated learning module. This module is being integrated in a number of classes around campus. We are currently doing a small-scale pilot in five courses, and will be expanding in the upcoming semesters. We've come a long way in the last few months in the project, and I'd love to spend a few minutes giving you the grand tour. The module has a framework that can be integrated into a course on the university's learning management system. Professors can tailor the module to their own courses. The module starts out at the beginning of a course with an introductory section, then has components before and after major course assessments, and at the end of a course as a wrap-up. The starting off section begins with a welcome, then definition of SRL, the strategic control of thoughts, actions, and motivations to achieve personal goals and adaptively respond to environmental demands, and the SRL phases of reflect, plan, and act. Professors can add some practical course details next. The next section is a brief questionnaire that forms part of the project evaluation so that we can explore what aspects of the module work or don't work for students and for which students. Next, the reflection phase begins with an activity with Tracy. Students use the activity to reflect on their own learning and habits. There is a reflection activity for students to think about their feelings and thoughts toward the course they're taking, organic chemistry in this example. Those reflections lead into information and activities about growth and fixed mindsets, along with a video about the importance of failure toward achieving success. As we reach the end of the reflect phase, students now identify their priorities first broadly, then becoming narrower toward the course itself. Now to the planning phase, where students decide on goals and strategies, learn ways to plan their time, and identify resources they think they will need to achieve their goals. During this phase, metacognition is also explained, and an activity asks students to identify their existing knowledge relevant to the course and make plans accordingly. Finally, we return to Tracy to bring together the ideas from this section, and there's a call to action. The next part of the module is enabled before the first major assessment, such as a midterm. During the checking back in activity, students are asked to reflect on their progress toward their SMART goals, identify their current mindset in the course, and how they are progressing toward the course's intended learning outcomes. Finally, they are invited to reflect on the learning strategies they are using, touch base with a classmate, identify any strategies they'd like to use or change, and identify any resources they plan to use. After the major assessment, students are asked to reflect on their experience and plan for any changes they intend to make. Before the final major assessment, students are asked to reflect, plan, and act like they did before. After the final major assessment, there is a course wrap-up asking students how much they think the module helped their learning, how satisfied they are with the module, how likely they are to recommend the module to appear, and for suggestions to improve the module. Thanks for taking this tour. We welcome any comments or suggestions you have. Please feel free to get in touch if this is a module you'd like to use and or adapt for your own course.